Welcome back to our channel. My name is Rachel. Welcome back to the M Fam M Squad. We are coming along, guys. It's been three, four days that we've been deciding what Christmas tree to do this year. I mean, it's very annoying going back between glitter, color. You know, my favorite color is glitter. Guys, if she doesn't like the stores, and we've been going to the store for the past four days, yes, and most of the time it's been her idea. So I'm living it up, okay? Because I wanted to make my Disney tree. So we went to Hobby Lobby before we had the idea about the Christmas tree. You could see that in our prior video. Hobby Lobby, Michaels. We went everywhere to look for colors and balls and ribbons and everything. And something was not sitting right. I just didn't like it because I had been pronosticating to do the tree. Thank God I was a pronosticator. Yeah. I don't even know if we we're saying doing it right. And we were doing blue again. And we were doing blue. Not again. We were just doing blue and glitter, guys. My favorite color. It's okay. My tree. I decide. Mm. So... Uh, we were looking for ideas and we found a Disney tree, guys. Yes, like you heard me, a Disney tree. Minding you guys that we already had brought all this stuff to do my tree with blue and silver glitter balls and ribbon and bows and all this girly girl stuff. But I said, no, I want a Disney tree. Guys, I'm a diehard Mickey Mouse fan. Guys, look around my house. Jennifer, please. Show them. That's some of my Mickey stuff. Collectibles, guys. Some of my Mickey stuff. I said some. Over there. Show them over there. And uh, you don't want to go into my room. But the tattoo. And she has a tattoo. And I have a tattoo. And I have a whole bunch of Mickeys in storage, guys. Yes, in storage. So, I was like, oh my God. So, I looked at a few videos. And I came along on how do you do these do-it-yourself, clear, DIY, DIY, ornaments. No, ornaments. Ornaments. Guys, I can't say the word. You know what I mean, ornaments. So, this has brought us here. We left the house at 11 something. We went on a manhunt, guys, because I think everybody and their mama wants to do a Disney tree. Because usually these, you find them at Dollar General. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree for a dollar. Guys, we went to like six of them and we cannot find them. We cannot find Goofy. We cannot find none of them, guys. So we went to six different ones and this is what we found. So basically, we went everywhere to look for these things. Guys, that's because she we wasn't look. giving up. I was not giving up because I was determined. And she didn't want to go where I said, but I was like, no, I'm going to go. Because I had no faith in Dollar General. And you know what, guys? These are two for a dollar. Yes, guys. Even cheaper. And these are a dollar. Yes, guys. I had spent like $60 on all the crap that I brought for my tree. And this one came out to $28, guys. We already had the glue. So not counting the glue, it came out to $28. So we're going to do one just for the sake of it so you guys could see how we do it and we're not just doing these guys we're gonna do use these too to make little mickey heads and we're gonna use these to make the difference between mickey and minnie minnie will have these bows on her head yes guys you heard me right we are having a disney tree how excited am i okay guys so we're gonna start okay so you have the ball guys and you're gonna align it with this little with the little thing to hang it with okay guys so you're gonna align him or whichever character for him to look like straight because you know you have to literally align it with this so when you close the ball it literally looks like he's in there we're gonna glue him down okay guys so just flip this over and I'm gonna have to do it this way guys because this is my okay and I think the easiest thing for him to stick on is that we're gonna do the ears we're gonna place a little bit of the glue on his ears, okay? Not too much where it looks chunky. Yeah, not too much where he's gonna look chunky, guys. And we're gonna line him up right there. Make him even, okay, guys? So basically, I'm holding him because I'm just gonna let the glue dry. Let's, you know, like that, backwards. Okay, once the glue dries, the glue has dried, 
He is securely and nestled in there. We're gonna find another place where you're gonna put glue because you know, you just wanna make secure that he's in there good. So where's another place that I see is touching? Is right here at the bottom, at the base. So you can add glue at the base. It doesn't really matter because you're gonna cover that with fake snow. So this is how he's looking, guys. So we're just gonna give him two seconds for him to dry and we'll get back to you so you can see the snow. Okay, guys. So he is on secured. The glue around him has dried. You want to take and take away the little strands of hot glue. Like, you know, when you put the glue gun, it's going to go in there. Now that he is standing on his own with glue, we're going to put the fake snow around him. Guys, he's standing in a blizzard. Okay? Like if it was in New York. Blizzard. Wait. That happened in... um. Monsters Inc. Yes, they did. They threw Mike and Sully in the snow blizzard. I wish that we could have found Mike. I know, or but, Boo. Or Boo, but we couldn't. Okay, guys, there's a dilemma here that we have. Should we... Okay, I put it like this. So remember when I close the ball, I'm going to flip him forward, and everything should fall to the floor, to the bottom of the ball. I, I asked Jenny, should we put little glue on the sides of the ball? so they won't open but i'm thinking not because if something happens like the glue i don't think the glue will melt it's hot glue but in any case i don't think i want to put it because if i want to open it or if i want to take him out next year and use these to make another themed you can but if you glue the balls shut you're gonna have a problem so we'll just leave them and not glue them so now you take your little ball guys and like i said you align it you shake it and look guys that is it you have your little DIY Disney snow globe and you could shake the you can shake the snow yeah. and the snow will adhere to the plastic so it actually looks like he's standing in the snow how cute is that guys and like I said I have a lot of these to do so, we're going to get back to you with the other DIY I found. Okay, guys. If this, if you don't like glitter, sparkle, this is not the DIY for you. It, it's really not because it's glitter everywhere. Thank God I love glitter, so we're good. Okay, so now we're going to... When gonna you do, have snow on your face. When I have snow on my face, you know, that's, it's okay. Makes it pretty because I have no makeup on. Ask me if I care. I do that. Okay, guys. So, we're going to do the other web DIY. The other Mickey, this is just like the Mickey silhouette, like the head. This is actually going to be mini. You have two ways to do this. You could actually make the holes using your glue gun. You could actually, because you need a metal tip glue gun. This is a metal tip glue gun. You could actually go put it here and press it down, and the heat will actually melt because these are the no shatter plastic balls. Or whichever way you want to go, whichever way is easier for you, you actually put this to the back of it so basically it would be sorry guys it would be looking something like this but i think it's it's whichever easier way for you since my tree is like big and it's to a corner i'm actually gonna do it stick it in i think it looks better that way so we're gonna stick it in so all you need to do is take these little pegs i don't know what these are called off not this one because you're gonna hang this one. So you're gonna take the pegs off of the other two. You're gonna get your ball, right? Okay guys, so like, you're gonna have to put the little, I say peg, but I don't know what it's called. The hangy thing. Guys, you wanna do a video for YouTube, you at least should find out the names of the stuff, right? But anyways, we're not about that life. So the little sticky thingy, the little hangy thingy is gonna have to be centered like that. So then you're gonna have to use your eyes, guys, to make the ears centered. So, right there, Jenny? I have my helper behind yeah, the camera. That looks right. Okay, it looks right, guys. So, <laughs> we're gonna take, like I said, a metal tip glue gun, and you're actually gonna insert it in and See pull it out. See how easy that was? See how easy it was, guys? Look at the hole. You insert it in, and you pull it out. 
Now for it to not come out, you could use like a knife or the peg itself, like the thing you took out, and you could push it in so there won't be like none of the plastic in the way. So like right now you see I um I took all the plastic residue off. So you won't see any little stuff in there. So now you take a little bit of the glue gun, of the glue, you put it around. You just put it around like that, guys. And you take your ear and the little thing you pulled out and you just okay guys so this is what it should look like you have to really have good eyes guys because like it's a little uneven but it's going on a tree so you won't even see it so what i suggest for some people to do is actually mark it with a pen so you will know where exactly it is so it won't look uneven mines are not that uneven but when i slap a bow in the middle you won't even see so this is the bow guys all this is from the Dollar Tree, guys. And this is like six, 12 balls to uh, a pack. Yeah, there's 12, there's 15, and then there's like five. So with two packs of these, you will make, depending on your tree, how big it is, it's more than enough because we're actually going to add these and these because it's a Disney tree. So now, I have these little skinny, skinny green um, hooks to hang on the tree. So this is another thing you have two options These bows are from the dollar Tree, so you can have it this way in the little hole itself You could actually insert it there Like that guys or you could take it out I'm gonna most likely take it out but Dollar Tree stuff does not last forever. So I am not going to take it out because if I take it out, I took off the little ball. So we're going to do it this way. Hold on, guys. You're going to... You could cut off. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, guys. So like I said, I discovered that if I cut this, I'm taking off the little jewel. So we're going to twist it tighter. And I'm not going to cut it completely off. I'm going to cut it halfway. So we still have the little thing. Now, you got to look which way it looks better. So this way for me, it looks better because you can't see the glue that I put. We're going to get our glue gun. And we're going to attach it to the little hook thing. To the little thing that I told you you hang it from. We're going to put it right in the middle, guys. You're going to hold it down for two seconds or as long as your glue dries. We're going to count to three, guys, because I'm going to turn it around and you are going to see this cuteness. One, two, a three. Guys, tell me that is not cute. Okay, guys, so in your Disney tree, you're going to have these kind of ornaments and you're going to have these kind of ornaments. Now, I'm going to make... One more, I'm gonna make a Mickey now so you can see how simple Mickey is because it's basically the same thing, but you just don't put a bow. But I'll make one so you guys can see and then I'll get back to you. Okay guys, so this is how Mickey comes out. Um, like I said, this is like very hard because you have to like center the ears, but you know what, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's why it's DIY, do it yourself, do what you think. If it looks cute for you and your family and you like the way it looks, go with it. We're not perfect. So this is what Mickey looks like. This is what Minnie looks like. And this is the snow globe Disney ornaments. So we're gonna mismatch our tree. We're gonna have some of these, some of these, and some of Minnie's. So basically that will make it a Disney tree. We have the big one to make my tree topper. My house, I don't know how tall the roofs in my house are, but my tree barely, like, I don't even know if that's going to fit before it touches the ceiling. ceiling. Of my, so I, we're going to see how that one works. Okay, guys, I'm done with the ornaments. Um, this is how my tree topper looks. It's gonna be a Mickey. We filled them up with snow and I actually like the way it looks because once the lights hit this, it's gonna shine more. You can put in the Christmas tree, Mommy. These are our 
Pixar and Disney came out. And Show you a few of them, guys. Mickey yeah. and Nemo. What does that smell? Forky, Sporky, Forky. Rex. Um, Rex. Sally. Sally. Eight. This is girlfriend. Buzz. This is girlfriend. This is boyfriend. Woody. Woody. And boyfriend. And girlfriend. Guys, this is so cool. It's like staticky or something, but when I go like this, it moves it out the way. That is so cool. Look. Mini. Mommy. Mommy, it's not on. Can I touch it? No. Dash. Dash. Here's three. Look at Bo Peep just chilling in the snow. She needs a jacket on. You're history. You're history, me, Mommy. This is how our minis came out. Aren't they the cutest? And this is Mini now. Yes, that's Mini. This is our Mini in silver. And this is our Mini and And this mouse. is our Mickey's. We um, just didn't put a bow. And this is Mickey. But these are how, how mine turned out. I like them. I'm not professional. This is all made by me. DIY it. I like it. I like it. My kids like it. My kids like so, it. Please comment down below, give this video two thumbs up, share it, and I'll see you on our next video. Bye.